Hello guys, a blessed day to everyone. My name is Andriano Lassiman and here we are again for another healthy spiritual reminder inspired by God's Holy Word. Uh, glory to God for this day na naman po na binigay sa atin ni Lord para mapag-usapan ang healthy spiritual reminder galing kay Lord, galing sa Word niya po. And I believe um, God wants us to be reminded about our fears. Especially sa panahon ngayon po, I believe um, lahat tayo, um, there comes a time or a moment in our lives right now na natatakot po tayo. And it is actually normal. Normal lang po as a human being na matakot po talaga. But it is not normal. It is not good for us to stay as it is na mag, mag permanent na lang po tayo natatakot palagi. Diba po? It means that you don't trust God. Amen. So, God is reminding us today po na do not be afraid or there are reasons not to be afraid. Amen. Which is God says, God promised in His Word which is in in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 10. Now, before ko po sabihin po ito, um, because I felt afraid na I felt a little bit afraid since the moment na nag-message sa akin yung kapatid ko na sabi po niya na nagbibigay na ng gate pass nga sa Pilipinas isa lang po ang tao makakalabas and I was not worried about it ang nawawari ko is when my mother told me na um, nagle-less na mga yung supply na sa atin sa Pilipinas yung mga pagkain at saka she's not feeling well at that moment I felt afraid for for a while I was not feeling afraid for a while na na-focus ako sa trabaho na busy ako and I was keep on trusting God but with a snap of a finger mabalitan mong ganyan na, na news it makes me it made me fear it felt I, I was afraid because of that news or balita ng mama ko update sa kanya so I was, I'm not too much afraid about myself I trust God in my life and sa, sa family ko lang nung nalaman ko yan of course tayong lahat I believe natatakot po tayo sa mga pamilya natin kasi malayo po sila and the good thing is God is reminding us today in His word in Isaiah 41 verse 10 sabi po ni Lord don't be afraid, for I am with you. Don't be discouraged, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Amen. So, ang sarap po talaga na when you have the word of God in your life. Kasi po, whenever you are feeling afraid, God will always remind us through the Holy Spirit about His Word. Ito po yung ni-remind sa akin ni Lord na don't be afraid. These are the reasons why we should not be afraid. First reason is, and the most important reason is, because God is with us. Sabi po ni Lord, oh, don't be afraid for I am with you. Amen? So God is with us. Don't be afraid kasi andito si Lord sa buhay po natin. And sabi po ni Lord, don't be discouraged, for I am your God. Sabi po ni Lord, if I am your God, don't be discouraged. Bakit po? Kasi sabi ni Lord, if I am your God, I will strengthen you. I will help you. Amen? I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Amen? So ang sarap po ng feeling that God is with us. If God is with us, then siya po ang magbibigay natin ng encouragement. At siya po ang magbibigay sa atin ng strength to overcome these challenges na na-experience po natin ngayon. Siya po ang magtutulong sa atin. He will help us. He, he did not mention specific things here, but he said, since He said help, it means in every way that He can help us financially, emotionally, physically, and spiritually and and and, finan and provisions diba? help us he will help us he will be our help in times of our need amen if he is our god 
And sabi pa po niya, I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. It means that we will be victorious. Amen. If God is with us, if God is for us, then we will be victorious. Ito po yung ini-encourage ni Lord sa buhay po natin. Don't be afraid because God is with us. Someday, soon, we will be victorious sa ganitong sitwasyon. For now, we will experience this mga problema, mga lockdown na yan, kakulangan ng mga pagkain, mga supply. But someday, soon, I believe soon na po, we will be victorious because God is lifting us up with His victorious right hand. Amen. Someday soon, in His most perfect time. Just give uh, give a little while, ni Lord, to to do His His ways as uh, as uh, in this moment. Uh, give us he, Let us have more trust in Him. Um, have faith in Him. But the most important question is na ni-remind sa atin ni Lord sa gabing ito or sa araw na ito po is sabi pa po kasi niya don't be afraid for I am with you the question is is God is with you is it really God is with you kasi marami po nagsasabi na God is with me I am with God pero how are you sure how can you be sure that God is with you you know po God is a holy God. Amen. And we are not holy. We are all sinners. Kasi sabi po ni Lord in Romans, I believe, 3.23, For all men have, for all have fall short of God's glorious standard. All, lahat, nag fall short of God's glorious standard. Amen. So, lahat po tayo nagkasala kay Lord. So, since makasala ng tao po tayo, we can never be with God because he is holy he is pure he is clean he is righteous he is sinless and we can never be with him because we are sinful amen very important part po ito kasi we cannot you can never mention this verse in your life if god is with me if you are sinning if you are a sinner kung makasala ng taong ka that's why a lot of people right now, mga preachers, are really focusing on repentance. Kasi po, importante po talaga mag-repent, mag-hinulsol sa ito mga sala. Mag, 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 anong, saya kasi yun, mag, pakumbaba, or mag, magpatawad ng mga kasalanan natin kay Lord. Kasi only in that way, we can be cleansed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Only through the blood of Jesus Christ, we can be forgiven sa ating mga kasalanan po. Which is very, is a good news talaga. Because anytime, yung blood ni Jesus Christ is available to all of us po. Anytime, we just need to humble down. We just need magpakumbaba. Magpakumbaba lang po talaga tayo. Give this time to realize our sins Use this time to meditate the word of God and to realize na ganito pala ako na makasalanan tao and I need a savior and I need to repent for my sins and accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior and th that's it. When you do that po, then you can say clearly in your heart that God is with me. Amen? And He will strengthen me and He will help me and he, we will be victorious in this in this present time in this challenging time god is with me you will be confident because you are no longer a sinner although you are a sinner nagkakasala pa rin po tayo but god has already cleansed you with his precious blood and that makes you righteous already and that makes us um, worthy now to connect with god amen but very 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 important po talaga mag mag Hingi ng patawad sa kasalanan natin kay Lord. That's it po talaga. Amen? So, I believe this is the reminder of God. Healthy, spiritual reminder from God to us all na don't be afraid. Amen? In this situation, God is with us. And if God is with us, who can be against us? What is that coronavirus compared sa ating Panginoon? Amen? Our God is a mighty God. Our God can do the impossible things. He can do in a snap of a finger. Wag, wala tanggalin ng coronavirus na yan. Amen? 
We are covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hindi yan lalapit sa atin. Don't be afraid. God is with us. Amen? But make sure that you have repented for your sins and accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Amen? Yun lang po. And thank you for listening. Amen? And I pray for your well-being. I pray for your protection. I pray for provisions. And I pray that you understand this message po. That you will really repent and accept Him as your Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen? Yun lang po. And thank you for listening. God bless you. And to God be all the glory and praises. Bye.